uh, show you a very interesting case uh, of a lady who has got a boutonniere's deformity of her uh, index finger uh, secondary to injury to uh, the central slip. Uh, she unfortunately had an uh, incident where she was uh, cutting open something with a blade and the blade slipped and she had a laceration over uh, the dorsum of uh, the proximal interphalangeal joint of index finger uh, which was primarily uh, treated with uh, suturing and now she presents to me uh, six months down the line uh, with a deformity which is typically known as butinous deformity. So the idea of making this video is to make you aware that if you are dealing with a laceration in this area or even a soft tissue injury in this area always examine central slip and if it is affected be wary that it is an injury to the central slip that can cause secondary putinaires deformity. So I will show you the patient and I will show you her clinical findings. So if you see this lady's hand she had a laceration there so this, this was the site of laceration and uh, this was closed uh, and was treated well the wound has healed nicely but now she is complaining of progressive deformity. Now so if you look at the deformity this is the typical deformity that will develop when you have injury to central slip. So on this occasion there was a clear history of laceration here. So when you are dealing with a laceration of uh, dorsal aspect of uh, proximal interphalangeal joint of any of these fingers always you have to suspect that it is deep enough especially if you can see the joint that the extensor slip or the dorsal um, hood is gone or the center slip is gone and if you do not repair it then secondarily it will lead to this deformity. So if you want to avoid this you have to be utmost careful you have to be very very careful that you do an Nelson test and I have already uploaded a video on that but I will demonstrate it again on this video and if it is positive suspect it and treat it accordingly. Now if the patient has got a soft tissue injury as well and if the patient is complaining of tenderness here again just do not give body strapping. Examine the patient properly do Elson test and if there is injury to a central slip then you need to immobilize the finger in extension and then progressively rehabilitate in order to avoid this deformity. So if I lift this lady's finger up this is the deformity you can see. So flexion deformity at the interphalangeal joint and extension at the distant phalangeal joint. If you see the other finger in the resting attitude is usually slight flexion. Here the resting attitude is slight extension and this is because the lateral band are sublux now and this is causing this hyperextension. So passively this is correctable but as soon as I let go the lateral bands are sublux and hence it is causing flexion of the index uh, finger proximal interphalangeal joint and resulting hyperextension. Can you see this? This is this joint is hyperextended. So this is classical deformity of boutonnieres and always always very very be, be careful when you are dealing with either a closed injury or a laceration in this area. So I am going to demonstrate to you how to do an Elson test. So the prime requisite of Elson test is to keep the hand relaxed and to proximal interphalangeal joint and then you ask a normal finger especially if this is injured and this is acute injury I would examine the normal finger first. This will give us two things first is how much is the normal strength and secondly it will give us uh, it will uh, the patient will also understand what involves in the test. So once uh, the patient is in the right position you ask the patient to push. So if you ask there is good strength she is fighting with me and she can make her finger completely straight and this is usually floppy and relaxed. I will ask and do the same here push she is not able to do any active extension. So this is a positive test and also when she is trying to push you will see that this hyperextension is getting exaggerated. So this is also a positive test inability to push or weakness and hyperextension due to the pull of the lateral band this is a positive Elson test. So viewers this was a demonstration of a case which involved a central slip injury and it resulted in secondary boutonniere's deformity uh, due to inappropriate treatment. So when uh, you are dealing with these patients my request is especially if you have injury to proximal interphalangeal joint whether it is a cut or a soft tissue injury always think central slip in your mind because it is quite a disabling injury um, if not treated appropriately. So hopefully um, the surgeons or the junior surgeons who follow this video 
or any form of medical practitioners who deal with these type of patients should be able to diagnose them at the right time and should be able to initiate it, initiate the right treatment. If you can deal with it, fine, but at least if you diagnose it, send it to the person who can do the correct treatment so that this deformity and disability can be prevented. So I have not started, uh, now started sharing some interesting cases. I think I have shared, started, I have shared a lot of uh, surgical videos, but I will upload this uh, clinical videos from time to time as well because I think a diagnosis of important condition is equally important. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, please do subscribe and share our channel. Thank you.